Hey y'all. I'm Samuel. I'm Tanner. And, and this, this is House of Mouse. Mouse. Hello from Hollywood Studios. Um, today we um, got Genie Plus. So we started stacking our reservations probably around what, noon? Mm -hmm. And then we got an individual lightning lane for uh, Rise of the Resistance also. So um, we're gonna take you along for the ride. We hope you enjoy. So somebody forgot his sunglasses at home, actually in our car that's at the shop, so we have a rental car, so seeing if they have any cute sunglasses for the day. The crowd levels are really low, um, I guess because school started, but it's Labor Day weekend, so I'm really surprised it's not a little bit busier, unless they were all here earlier today, because... Magic Kingdom is closed at what time? Seven for regular guests? For Mickey's Not So Scary um, Halloween party. So first on our list, we are headed to Tower of Terror. We've got a lightning lane there. We stacked a few of them. We're going to Tower of Terror. Then we're doing Mickey and Minnie. Then Slinky Dog. And then Rise. And then if we see another one while we're here, we might add that to the list too. Lightning Lane is actually worth it on this on Tower of Terror. This is the line for Lightning Lane. And people literally in the standby are walking past us.
finished Tower of Terror. The Lightning Lane actually was very well worth it. Um, it was kind of deceiving at first, but we moved along, moved it through it very quickly. Yeah, it was quick. So now we are headed to our second Lightning Lane, uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Um, we stacked that one, and we keep saying stacked, and what we mean is when you get Genie Plus, um, basically, depending on when you're going, if you're going in the afternoon, we started stacking around like noon. So you get a lightning lane and you wait two hours and then you can book another one. And then you wait two hours and you can book another one. So it's that dreaded, you know, 120 one, minute rule. Yeah, 120 minute rule. So um, now the app actually tells you when you can book your next lightning lane, which is actually really cool. So the confusion is not as bad. And it makes it much more worth the price of the Genie Plus if, when we're coming to the parks like this in the evenings that we can just kind of start stacking throughout the day so when we get here, we've got all of our lightning lanes scheduled for the evening. We're making our way to Mickey and Minnie. It's starting to sprinkle. I hope it doesn't start raining. It is starting to rain, but we're almost, almost there. <laughs> Gonna run. Thank you. So due to the rain, our Slinky Dog um, Lightning Lane got canceled. Boo. But we're going to try to see if we can find it again here after we get out of this ride. Nothing can stop us now. I don't know how. Gonna make it happen. Let's take a ride. And spend that day in the countryside.
that worked out perfect. We went in when it was raining and when we finished it's no longer raining now. It's clear. It's a little cloudy but no more rain. Unfortunately though during our wait time in there we lost our lightning lane for Slinky Dog due to the rain um, but we were able to reschedule another one for 8.20 tonight but with that we also lost our opportunity to book another one after Rise this evening. But with that, we'll hopefully, you know, see what's available later this evening. Maybe something will be available, but we'll see. We're kind of pushing it there. Yeah, but um, that, you know, two-hour rule. Um, once we rebooked uh, after they canceled, it started that clock over again. So now we're not able to book another um, lightning lane until 7:26 now. So, you know. It's, it's a little frustrating, but you know, it is what it is. We're here, we're happy, and uh, we're still gonna get to do Slinky, hopefully. It's no not more rain. No more raining, so. So we are headed to Toy Story Land. Um, Alien Saucers was only a um, 10 minute standby, so we're gonna try to get on that um, to waste a little time before um, our Rise of the Resistance uh, lightning lane. We've made it to Toy Story Land. Thank you. We will. So Tanner has appropriately dressed for Toy Story Land today. He's got his Woody and Buzz t-shirt on. Alright, we've made it to Alien Swirling Saucers. Say hi to Buzz, everybody. Hey, Buzz. All right, and the standby is a 10 minute wait. Hello. Hi, friends. Have fun. Welcome in. Welcome in. I don't know, could this be a walk on? What do you think? Not quite a walk on, but pretty close. It's a pretty small line here. Please. 
Oh, we got purple! Woohoo! How excited are you? I'm very excited. <laughs> I was sliding back and forth across that. It was just like, uh, what is it? Big Thunder Mountain? Yeah, it, it was, was. Flying me back and forth. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, you just kind of slide all over the place and you kind of bounce up and down. So make, make sure if you ride it, put your arms up. It's more fun. Yeah, definitely. So we've made it to Galaxy's Edge. We have about 10 minutes, so our lightning lane is starting for Rise of the Resistance, but you get an hour window. So we're gonna try to go in single rider at Smuggler's Run quick because I think it's gonna be a pretty low wait time there. split your party but we actually got to ride together all right we um, are now on our way to our lightning lane for um, rise of the resistance this will be the second time that we've ridden this ride uh, very excited about that so fingers crossed it doesn't break down oh but I didn't just drinks myself thank you So as Tanner said, this is the only the second time we've actually going to experience this ride. We've never come this way before because we've never done a lightning ride. So this is a whole new experience for us on this side. Team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a 
unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. Tell them nothing. The future of the resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors.
these two droids anyway. just finished Rise of the Resistance, but right before we got on the ride, our um, walk-up time for Mama Melrose was, was called. So we are hightailing it over there now so we don't lose our spot. But Rise of the Resistance was so fun. What'd you think? I loved it. It was so much fun. I think um, that's the only way to do it now is the lightning ride, because it's okay to get the experience walking through, but not risking it breaking down like it did the last time to us. We made it to our dining reservation, uh, walk-up reservation rather, at Mama Melrose. Here is the QR code for the dinner menu if you want to scan that now. Um, we ordered a bottle of wine and an appetizer, so we're going to show you when that comes out um, and how it tastes. So I was just reading about the story of the theming of Mama Melrose, 
and it says, Once upon a time, a young girl from a small Sicilian village moved to Hollywood to become a star. However, she soon found that cooking was her true calling as she recreated her papa's secret recipes for her starving actor friends. At their urging, she opened a restaurant in a vacant backlot warehouse once used to store film equipment. Mama's culinary talent soon attracted the patronage of film industry insiders who dubbed her Mama Melrose. After the lively Los Angeles th thoroughfare, her establishment became known as a place where Italy meets California in the heart of the back lot. And the rest, as they say, is history. So our wine arrived and so did our appetizer. We got some calamari here. And then they also brought us some bread with some olive oil. All right, cheers, babe. So I got the spaghetti with marinara and they had a side of cashew cheese. So I'm gonna try that. And Samuel got the um, fettuccine with shrimp. Um, no butter, just the sauce. So it's a white wine sauce. So it looks really good. We just finished our dinner at Mama Melrose. What'd you think? I am stuffed. It was delicious. Yeah, I couldn't even finish mine because I ate too much bread. <laughs> um, but also, I didn't want to be too full for the next few rides. Uh, we are headed now over to Slinky Dog. We've got a uh, lightning lane there now. And we've never rode Slinky Dog in the dark, so we're kind of excited. We have returned to Toy Story Land, and it looks so cool here, all lit up at night. Hello. We just finished Slinky Dog. I think that ride was better in the dark, yeah, don't you? Definitely better in the dark. Well, there it goes again. It's just, it's such a short ride. I wish it was a little bit longer, but definitely better to use a lightning lane than have to wait 90 minutes for a 90 second ride. <laughs> definitely not doing that, ever. No, never again. Well, we are racing over to um, Rock and Roller Coaster. We're gonna try to get on there real quick, fit in one last ride before we call it a night. So we're gonna power walk there now. 
rock and roller coaster that ride is just so much fun but so fast so fast like zero to 60 in the first second for some reason tonight too i forgot that you go upside down right away and i wasn't <laughs> ready for it it surprised me for whatever reason we've been on this a million times but um, it was a good night it was yeah. fun we did uh seven rides on the uh, genie plus so we got a lot done and we ate at Mama Melrose. It was delicious. So full still. So full. Um, but it was a good night. And um, I think with that, that's it. We're and, out. Uh, bye.